Hey. So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh, it's <laughs> great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Belknap, Bel Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> All right. <laughs> could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, you just throw your I just... leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Hey, hey, look out! Shit! Oh. Oh. Assholes! Oh my god. Are you okay? I'm just... Oh, Lordy, that was close. Hey. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some, I don't know where Road I am. Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, I just... Just give me a second. There'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right, screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> you weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. So you're not from around here? No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so, the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. What the hell? Clay, we got company. Oh, shit. 
All right, gentlemen. Smart now, huh? Not here. That's Big bad thought. biker, huh? Yeah. Yes, hit him again. Now you like that bike, boy? Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Him. Boy. <laughs> oh, you don't learn, do you, Watch bike? Watch boy. Oh yes, yes. Oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How Come about that? Oh, yeah, I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Roll, goddammit! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, it's I, I right. saw that and I. Oh. oh, my God. I could have killed somebody. Well. Oh, shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay, it's okay. I They're saw gone. it in They're your gone. bag, and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? Here, come here. I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh. Yep, found it. Uh. All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula and Gustafolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm going to collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... God. Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. There's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Look at you, being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. 
The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? <sighs> okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last. <sighs> oh. Good for you. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Oh. <laughs> it's not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey! Oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer for myself on the way over. <laughs> Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. <sighs> All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? <laughs> no, it means, um... Right. I never learn. About that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. No, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon, I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhD is to be very sexy. Oh, yeah, I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Oh, come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. 
Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Is this a pop card? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system. So this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. Pot farm. You dragged me up in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you looking again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. <laughs> okay, all right. We do need to talk about it. And we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with this little thing. It's just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> Hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Oh, uh, it's... Morier Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me, like, a real ring, though, right? No, that this one's no, not great. No, absolutely, great. because, I, I just you know, thought, that's my ring. You right, it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> all right. oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, it's your room. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay. Bye. Is everything okay? 
I don't know, they need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute, like, th this time of night? I'm sorry, I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up, sir. property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole, this is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here She's to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Jim. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh, shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State to visit Jack. So you're going to blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. But every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. You're No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah. I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh... Probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. 
What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. Chief's been trying to get a hold of you. Says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. You, you've each prepared your own valve? Well, uh, traditionally, the, the groom goes first. Uh. I'll, I'll go first. Deacon. I'm so sorry that no one came. I guess we really pissed off everyone. On both sides. I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. This ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, I'm gonna just go. Tell you something. Hey, that's okay. It's just my nerve. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I. None of us knew it was gonna be a life like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey, I'm not losing anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait. Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey, come on. Oh, me. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Okay. Just hold this here as soon as you can. I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. Almost there. <laughs> Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged the hell. <laughs> yeah, she's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. <laughs> How you doing, little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. Mm. Yeah, see if you can rest over here. Hey. Mm. Easy, easy. Uh, uh, oh. She reminded me so 
much my little sister, you know. Mm. So we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. She would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We're gonna go that way. Ah. Uh, come on. Alright, hey, sweetheart, can you move? Who's her? Yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. I'm trying to sneak up behind him, okay? It's nothing, it's nothing, Coco. I got this, go! Hold on, go! Just fuck you! Yeah, we see you got guns, guys. Stop shooting! Sir? Hey, 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 hey! I'm unarmed! I'm unarmed! Get out! Now listen to me, listen to me! My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's a helicopter you killed her! So listen. You killed just... my wife! Look, I, I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I'm sorry, sir. Do what you do. 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 Do what We need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay, listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. What do you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that gun. We gotta get on that I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me. I want this back. You coming?
lost him. He can't be far. Wait, hold on. Cut your engine. <coughs> Shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez. What happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it... Was it Rippers? Cleon did this. I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, A tur turpin. Tur Get out. Shit. Get out! I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, halothic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention. Dead. You're, you're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I, I couldn't I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Who's your and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody the was mountain. dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would I see, you see you again. Hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. They're forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's 
This is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm going to go with you this time. Let's go. <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just. <sighs> Never mind. Hold on. Uh... Hold on tight. Been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing. Just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. Push! both go out there. We're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through, just close this up. I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. You ready? Mm hmm. Let's go. There are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's gotta be a way in. Sign of a violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that like the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. You all right? Am I all right? 
What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Can I say thank you? No. Okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. You're welcome. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dick, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You'd... God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. You know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel, Captain. Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in this ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step on his status. We need your help to move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into him. You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale. Please remain seated until the next call. 
Cloverdale Research Iron Butte facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... <sighs> what the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the, the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. Let's go, come on. God damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah, why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. Hands! Don't shoot! Hands! Don't shoot! I give up! Get I give up! up. Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh, God damn it! I said hands! All right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? Uh, we just couldn't take the risk. Get up. 
Wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? This is my fault. I, I don't understand. You're I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project okay. or something. I classified don't know. Classified project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman, he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think he could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know, it doesn't look good. 
But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Soaking wet. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I never thought I'd get warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me? Come here, come here. The biologist is kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. you put in that. That shit went down fast. God damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're... You're not making a bioweapon. You're... Oh my god, are you, are you... Are you trying to cure it? I thought... Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, 
everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought and we won. And what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, <laughs> he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight in a war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we're riding north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. At ease, Captain. <sighs> and then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household, for you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you, Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen, when you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.
Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the order... <clears throat> Make sure we're clear. Yeah. You're good. You're clear. Okay. That's the plan. I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards hey, everywhere. Do you trust me? Well, Brian. I'm here. We're heading up to the cone and we got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close. And if we see anyone. Hey. In case you didn't read my note. Okay. We made it. Where is it? Where is he? Where is it, Brian? He'll be here. He'll be here. We just, uh, oh, need to... Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! I was just Bridge, trying to tell you Don't that we were going on a supply He's a murderer run. and a spy. Why would you, Do you listen to him over me? remember that camp I told me? you about? You know I am not. the leader of that camp, Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. This is full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. All right. I'm listening. I am telling you, he is a spy. Matt, this mm -hmm. guy's crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. Lieutenant, he comes out of nowhere and you're going to believe what, him? What's that camp you're saying I'm from? You think I'm lying? Is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Khoury, I forget, is that the 8th or the 9th commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Corporal! you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. Some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel. This shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn it. <clears throat> you wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you? Deacon St. John. He's lying. You here. hide behind angelic names of the truth and clothe yourself truth in is. lies! He got kicked out you of You are Judas! Out of it. And what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long 
longer have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! Put it off a sec, Colonel. It was me! Ugh. It was me! But Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check his shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait. Who is this? Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. I'm sorry, my dear. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial and he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know. Lieutenant! Please. Come on. Get up. Uh. I don't know when or why, but I, uh, I, I saw something a, a month ago, maybe. I, I felt something, something I, I hadn't felt in a long time. And, um, and I know that a lot of you might have, might have felt the same way. And I, I think that if we just can, Deacon? I'll have your side on. Sit. Let him go, Colonel. It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Sarah, would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. When the world was cleansed, it was the only thing that would allow us to rebuild. Everything was here, protected, saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter now. <sighs> when all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did when you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal and they don't kill unarmed women. No! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey. Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bad. Just get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. Does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. <laughs> it's over. Everyone that wasn't killed or wounded by the blast pretty much just gave up. Where is Boozer? Move it. Ricky, I need attack. some help over here. The north gate. The south gate. Boo. Ricky. My leg. My leg. Yeah. Hey, hope you save some for me. Boozer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just you before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, no, no. I felt the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now that was a ride. <laughs> 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 Why? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um... I hear someone's been looking for you. <laughs> what? Well, kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea oh, than... Ricky! Eddie! Which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? All yours, brother. So I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just a batch of crazy ones. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey. He left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. And I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> hey. You gonna miss my speech? Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Brother, we did it. You did it. Ah, uh, man, you know, I gotta uh, admit for a second there, I thought that you were, um... You gonna blow myself up? I told you I got shit to do. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, give him help, brother. Yeah, here goes. Chuck would be proud. We did it. We did it. Come here. <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen you give a speech before. Oh, come on. It ain't gonna be a speech. Okay. Ma'am. Oh, shit. That's enough of that. Uh, what does it mean that they're all getting quiet? Oh, yeah, they're waiting for you. God it's your cue. I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm gonna keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. Yeah, right. No, I don't care what you say, I'm not. <laughs> but, um, you've done something here today. We've done something. We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing to do. And you know what? We won. Yeah, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are. Make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope for a better life, or for a future that matters, yeah. what the hell are we fighting for? Yeah. You know, Iron Mike, he, um, he once said to me that, that we make the world what it is by what we do. Hell yeah. Huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? See this? This is the first step. I thought you weren't going to give a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how was it? You know, it was, it was all right for an outlaw biker. Outlaw biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride, old lady? I don't know. It depends. Where are we going? Wherever the hell we want.